Religious leaders and Christian worshippers across the state have called for the entrenchment of peace among the people as they celebrate Christmas in worship services. Our correspondent covered some church services where the significance of Christmas was again reiterated. The report. <laughs> The Christmas season comes once a year, bringing in the message of peace and love. In the state, southwest Nigeria, worshippers in lovely apparel celebrate the commemoration of the birth of Jesus Christ, giving thanks for life amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. Religious leaders tell the core message of Christmas. Uh, despite all of the challenges we face as a country, let us continue to turn to Jesus, who is the King of Peace, to restore peace and sanity to the problems ravaging us as a nation. Problems of insecurity, problems of kidnappings, problems of banditry, and all of these problems, poverty and all of that. Let us still have hope. We must live as people of peace and allow peace to reign in this country so that we can be one. And the salvation that Jesus has brought to the world can be part of a joy that everyone should embrace. And it's my prayer that that salvation everyone will embrace and receive for the eternal life. But I still want to encourage the federal government at this season that they can still step forward uh, in their efforts to ensure that peace reign in Nigeria. <laughs> Souls Anglican Church, a special prayer was organized for the country. Now, moving on to Taraba State. It's a low turnout in worship centers in Jalingo, the capital of Taraba State. Worshippers blame this on economic hardship and insecurity in the country. Um, Christmas is one celebration that uh, Christians hold in high esteem. Uh, you would see generally that uh, the number of people on the streets and churches today for this celebration is not as much or as many as we used to have because ordinarily people are frightened with the security challenge we have the economic hardship is biting harder this christmas is different from others in the sense that when you go to market Things are very costly. It's not as before. In many houses that you formerly they used to slaughter cows, they used to uh, chickens and uh, foreign rice. But these days, it's not easy. Uh, the most important thing is, just as I said earlier on, we thank God that we have seen the Christmas and we're celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. The chairman of the Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, in the state wants government to do more in subduing security threats in the country. Any government that knows that her responsibility first and foremost is to protect human lives and properties, she should stand up and do that promptly. The government should protect lives and properties of people. Government should create a peaceful environment for every citizen of the country to do their legitimate businesses and go about their day-to-day -day activities. If the government fails, then God is going to hold those at the helm of affairs responsible because it's a crime against humanity. So my call is that as people go about this celebration, let government provide peaceful environment for people and let government rise to duty and do the needful. He urges politicians to embark on the politics of ideology. If we understand and believe that God gives power, we will not want to take power by hook or crook. We will, not, uh, we will understand that power is not a do or die affair. If God has destined you for it, you will get it. Now, moving on to Delta State. Former president of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, based in Delta State, calls on the world to celebrate the birth of Jesus in love and kindness, which can engender peace and unity in nations. My Christmas message to all Christians and non-Christians alike, we are all offspring 
of one root and we should walk in peace and unity. And not forget that the message of the season is aimed at reconciliation. Whatever differences that we may have had in color, in creed, tribe or ethnicity, we should reconcile and recognize that we have one sovereign God who rules over the earth. From all quarters, the message is the same. Let there be peace. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.